Greco, an educational technology consultant with LearnStyle Limited. I'm an educator of over 15 years, where I began in the classroom as an elementary teacher, but for the last several years, I've helped to reach students by working with teachers on how to incorporate Google Apps for Education and a variety of ICT tools into their classrooms and lesson plans. As a consultant, I've worked with teachers, students from K-12, administrators, technology specialists, and parents across Canada as a Google educator, a Smart Certified Trainer, a Microsoft Innovative Educator Trainer, and an Assistive Technology Trainer. As a Special Education Specialist, I utilize Google Apps for Education on a daily basis in three different school boards to excite, engage, inspire, and equal the playing field for all students because the technology is essential for some, but beneficial for all. Come join me as we take a look at some features within Google Drive. With Google Drive, we're going to take a look at uploading files that we would like to store in the cloud. Once we have files in our drive, we want to be able to keep them organized. So we're going to do that by creating and customizing folders. Let's begin. We're going to go ahead and upload a file by clicking on the new red button and choose file upload. I'm going to navigate to where that file is located and choose open. I'm then going to see that file uploaded into my drive. From there, I'd like to keep my files organized. So I'm going to go ahead and create some folders and I can do that in a couple different ways. One way again is to click on the red new button and choose new folder. Now I'm going to pretend that I'm a student and I need to create some subject specific folders. I can also create a folder by clicking on the my drive button and choosing new folder. And then lastly, I can right mouse click on the drive and choose new folder. Once I have my folders, I can very easily organize my files by clicking and dragging them into the subject appropriate folder. I can also right mouse click on the file and choose move to and decide the folder that I would like to place it into. Once my files are organized, I can continue to customize the folders by differentiating them by color. I can do that by right mouse clicking on the folder itself and choosing change color. Thank you so much for joining me today.